we just brought that in. If I go to my sheet background in order to edit this, I could change, you know, I could I could double click one of the text blocks here and change designer and uh, maybe put your name. You can put in your, your office address. And of course, if you use a different layout standard, then you probably want to change this completely. Now, the other thing um, I want to look at real, real quick is these, some of these text objects are set up as parameters, which means that um, we don't have to go into the sheet background in order to edit them. So in order to do that, what we need to do is if we look at one of these, one of these um, text objects, we can right click and go to properties. And you'll notice that the name says in uppercase parm, P-A-R-M for parameter, and then dot the name. Now the important portion here is that P-A-R dot. And that basically indicates that this text file is going to be used as a parameter. So if we wanted to change this, let's say we wanted to add a little, um, a little text for revision, um, I can create a new text by clicking the, the, text, uh, the text tool over here on the right and click in my space and I'll call that revision. And you'll notice um, if you move it around it kind of snaps to a grid, but if you hold down the shift key it doesn't, it doesn't snap. So, so you may want to hold down the shift while moving the, the text object. So I'm going to create a second one. I'll also put revision, but this will just be a default, a default uh, setting. So i uh, create a second one here. And if I wanted to, I can change the uh, size of the text. Maybe I want to up here, if I want to change it to maybe 3.5 millimeters. So it's a little bit bigger here. And now if I right click and go to properties, I just want to make sure to call this P-A-R-M dot, and then whatever happens after the, after the dot, you don't have to do exactly. The important part is to put the P-A-R-M in uppercase there. So I can go ahead and exit that background. Go ahead and save that and close the, the template file. So now if I go back to the sheet I just created uh, and go back to sheet background under edit, I'll bring up that tool again, the frame and title block manager. And I'm going to click update since I already have the, uh, the template placed there. Actually, before I update, I just want to quickly show you that we have the parameters. We have these parameters already linked to, to, to text um, objects here, like date. So what it's going to do is add a, another parameter here for revision. So I click Update and OK. So it took that template. If I go back to edit, working views. So now it has the information I edited here. And if I go to revision, it added a parameter in my tree. If I, if I double click that parameter, I can change that to, you know, say this is revision 2.3. And it automatically changes it without having to go in and edit the, the sheet. Same goes for, for anything else here. We can put in the date. Basically it updates that, that sheet without having to go in and edit it manually. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and save that. 
Um, now I want to go ahead and edit, um, open up the final, um, the final uh, example file we have under the uh, Quick Start model. You should see my first digital project, which is an example of the of this uh, Quick Start finished. Um, I want to edit this file, so I'm going to open it up. We're going to generate our drawings from, from this file. I'm just going to do a, a save as in order to um, create my own copy of the of this file. Since it has all the all the columns and beans and other objects already finished, it may tell you that um, that it's read only. That's fine. Um, these these example files are read only, just so that when you if you want to edit them, all you need to do is do a save as. So go up to file and save as, and. I already have one called underscore Nuri, so I'm going to call this underscore Nuri drawing generation to distinguish it. So I'll go ahead and save that. And one thing I want to do is go down to the bottom of kind of right before publications. And you should see an ANS Sheets object there. Go ahead and delete that. So I'm going to go ahead and and delete this object because we're going to make our own our own uh, version of that. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is create a link between the model, uh, the 3D model, and the 2D sheet. So I'm going to go up to Window, Tile Vertically, so that I can look at both of these files next to each other. So um, you should be inside the Architecture and Structures Workbench. You can tell by looking at the icon in the upper right here. Um, if you're not for any reason, you can go to Start Project Center and Architecture and Structures. So make sure you're in that workbench. If you are, you should see a button um, down at the lower left. And when you highlight it, it should say Sheet. So this is going to create a, sh a link between the, the model and the sheet that we created in this drawing. Click that. And, the, and what it's asking for is the drawing sheet. So all I need to do, I'm in this 3D model. I'm going to select the sheet from this drawing file. So just click sh click that sheet one. And that's all we need. The boundary is if we were to be doing like a, a partial um, partial plan or partial section or uh, you'll, we'll see this option uh, when we generate the drawings too. But in our case we're going to be draw generating full drawings. So we want to keep that blank. Click OK. So now you should see an ANS Sheets and Sheet 1. So it's created a link with the drawing. So um, first thing I want to do is create a plan view of this, uh, of this model. If, um, if you look at this tool, uh, you may have it switched to may say front view. If you uh, expand it, by just uh, mousing over the, uh, the little triangle on the lower right, then you should see all the other selections. And if you if you just pull that, just grab that tab and pull it out, um, you can see all the all the options for generating drawings. So I'm going to use this uh, the second one over the section view tool. Click that, and now I'm going to name it. Uh, in this case, one. This will become a little clear why I'm naming it one um, a little later when we put in the drawing titles. So for support, um, I want to select a plane, a horizontal plane. 